We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, guys. Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at another bridge for a borrow tank. It's the Karma and this is by uh, the guys at Mission over in Canada. Now, just a little bit on uh, borrow tanks and bridges and so on. If you don't know, uh, if you've ever owned a billet box, if you've ever seen a billet box, then inside every billet box there shall be one of these things. It's a borrow tank. Inside the borrow tank shall go uh, a bridge. Uh, and bridges are usually, they're just little adapters uh, that enable you to use Kanger coils, EUC coils, Enneken coils, you use a bridge. You also get rebuildable bridges or RBAs, rebuildable atomizers, and that is what the Karma is. It's a rebuildable atomizer. This is going to cost you £99 and they are for sale in the UK. I see right now that SR Vapes in the UK have them in stock. There are also other resellers across the globe. I'm actually running one just now in my Zero Borrow by Sunbox. So just to let you see here, I'll take the door off of this and there we go. We have a Karma bridge inside here. Uh, I'm running my usual 0 0.4 ohm coil, uh, just a simple round wire build and I'm running this at 25 watts and this is it fully open. There's no inserts in this at all. It comes with inserts so you can take this down to mouth to lung but fully open it is It's got a nice, it's a restricted direct lung, fully open. Uh, it, it's not as, see, as open as the Zeta is when you take all the inserts out. It, it's got a bit more restriction, but we'll cover that when we do the close-ups, which we'll do now. Now this one here, this was actually sent on to me by Toby at Hayes Town Vapes. He actually sells these in Canada as well. Uh, Hayes Town Vapes do Nata, Pistache, uh, but he sent this on as a, kind of like a, a little Christmas present. So we'll use this one for the review and do a mouth to lung build in it. Now the packaging is its usually the same for all the Mission 14 stuff. Uh, you, you know, it's always going to come in these sleeves. It's the same with the, the Karma Jane which I shall be reviewing shortly as well. But you have an authenticity card, a little baggie with some inserts. So you can go from one millimeter airflow, 1.5, two, 2.5 and three millimeters. You do get an Allen key with some spare grub screws and the actual Atty itself, which will just pop out. Now this one is a, a bit of a special edition. You can see it's got the, some writing just down on the, above the 510 here and we have TVRP logo here as well. Uh, normally that logo will not be there. This was just a limited batch. Uh, but yes, this is this is what you'll get. Now these bridges are quite straightforward. Uh, you can see that this one is actually threaded on the bottom. Now not all bridges that you get for borrow tanks do have a 510 threading. Usually they come with adapters, uh, but this one has one built in. So when you put your coil in, you can screw this onto a device and you can pulse the coil. You can see the internal bore going down there for this. We'll just pull this off just now and give you an idea of what this is actually like. Machining on it is really nice. I have no issues with the machining on this at all. And uh, I think with normal, with uh, the mission stuff, I think this is actually made in China. What I do want to check is that inner bore because uh, unlike the Zeta, um, you know, this is, you're not going to be able to change this bore here, which you can do with a couple of other bridges. But this looks like it's about 4.5 millimeters uh, for the bore coming through here. Remember, you will be able to change the bore on the, you know, the air comes underneath the coil. You will be able to change the bore here. So this piece pulls off as well. Just take this off. There we go. And you can see that we have two posts here. We've got a little peak insulator. And without any reducer in there at all, that's, that's coming out like 3.8 millimeters uh, in a diameter. And you can see that the, you have a slot here and a slot here, which is where your airflow shall be coming through. Now, I'm not sure if you'll see that, uh, but uh, that is the, the smallest insert. And we're just going to pop this inside here just now. There we go. And it's just, uh, it's just a pressure fit. You need to get something to push this down. There we go. And that's it. We're now on a, a one mil air hole. So what we'll do is we'll back off these little screws here. Uh, 
I did my, my original one, I did have the wrong, I think the very, very early ones, or maybe just the reviewer one, I actually came with the wrong Allen key. It was supposed to be a Z, I think it was supposed to be a 0.9, uh, but this is, a, I think, from a later batch, so this Allen key is actually okay on my one now. But being perfectly honest, listen, if, if you're into the hobbyist side of vaping, um, it's good that it comes with one, but go and invest in a decent Allen key set uh, rather than relying on these things. For this one, I'm going to be using one of my PC coils, again, uh, from Peter, and uh, it's going to be a little clapped in mouth to lung, and it'll be coming at 1 ohm, and it's a 2.5 in a diameter full NI80. Putting a coil in this thing could not be any easier. It's just throw it in there, uh, make sure that you've got, you know, you're going to have your coil above that air hole. I'll just tighten this off now. And I will say this one is just the same. Uh, the, the Allen key is just really not that great. Watch this. That's just spinning in there now. That's, 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 yeah, these are pretty crap to be honest. We'll snip the legs off the back. Shoots the scores. Just screw this down onto my Coilmaster burning tabby thing here. Uh, for some reason my resistance is jumping all over the place here. Right, I went and got my, my proper torque set here and the Allen key set and I've tightened these up properly. Uh, once again, the Allen key that came with my one was, it's just not up for the job uh, and it wasn't tightening down the posts properly so the resistance was just jumping all over the place. You really want to get, they should be including something that is up to the job in the kit. Uh, so that would be, yeah, that's going to be a con. Now, once again, we've got the coil in there. Uh, this is coming out at one ohm, and you can see where I've got it placed there with the one millimeter insert. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece again, and uh, you can see here that there's a little notch just right there. See how that runs down there? Well, that's going to locate just right in here. And, and always remember that you see that the mission logo here faces down the way. So just line that up there and that should just pop on. There we go. Now hopefully you can see here that uh, if you look underneath, that's where you're going to be picking up your juice. Uh, so you put the sleeve back on for when you put your cotton in and just, just poke it down. That's all you're going to do. That, I mean this wicks really well and it does take all the juice out of the tank. So just passing the cotton through there, pull her through it. That's that all tweezed out, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to take the cotton, fold it over, and, and push it down into the wick holes. It, it's really, this is a really easy one to build. There's no great mystery to it, and once again, it wicks really, really well. Now, obviously, if you're going mouth to lung, and uh, say you're using a 50-50, you'll probably want to use more cotton than you would for, say, a heavy VG. You can see down the bottom there that uh, the cotton has gone down. It is, it's not rammed right down i've not rammed it right down there i want to make sure that it still wicks well but you know it's not going to flood but uh, yeah that's me quite happy with that now for getting this little guy together it's the standard approach uh, for your borrow tank i've taken my glass off uh, i've got the top and i'm going to pop this inside here maybe put some e-liquid around here but definitely definitely make sure that your o-ring inside here is lubed Got that in there. I usually just grab my tweezers uh, and just make sure that's lined up. There we go. Grab this bit. I'm going to do much the same thing uh, and just make sure that that's sitting down like that. See how it's just dropped in the hole? Well, we'll go get everything lining up nice and pretty here. And grab this top bit and it will, if we're kind of clever, we can get it to just line up. And you can do it. There we go. There we go. And just push her down. And that's it. There we go, we're all in, ready to go. Sometimes you have to give it a little extra push just down there because just to make sure it makes contact with the, the positive contact inside your device. But thankfully I've had no issues getting this. This goes in and out really, really easily. Uh, I've had no le leaking issues with it. Pop my glass section back on. We've got some pistache that we're going to use here today. Also from Canada, I hasten to add. I've obviously just remembered that I forgot <laughs> I forgot to um, to actually soak the wick inside here and uh, I think I've just burnt my cotton. <laughs> Let's open this up and have a look. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's just, these are the things that you should actually edit out of a, <laughs> a review. But uh, yeah, I'm having one of those days. So uh, yes. 
So that's me back together. We're in the sunbox, and uh, yes, let's uh, get this back in here, and uh, we can go for a vape. So once again, we have one in here which is a one ohm build. We have one that is a 0 0.4 ohm build, and this one here uh, we shall be mouth to lunging. It has the one mil insert, and this one has no inserts at all. And going on the information, it should be 3.5 inner diameter for the air hole. How has life been with the Karma Bridge? I, I've had a few builds through this. I've tried different inserts. Um, and for this video, I did show a one ohm coil going in. I'm vaping with the one millimeter reducer. And I'm also vaping with the most open, which is three and a half, if I remember right. Uh, I can get excellent flavour from this and that works across the board no matter if I'm vaping mouth to lung or a, a direct lung or, or what I would call a restricted direct lung. I can get great flavour across the board. I can vape all the juice out of the tank. Um, I, I can get every last drop out of that because it's wicking from the very bottom which that's another thumbs up and it, it's very much Con, not cons, pros. I really do like this bridge. It goes in and out, no hassles whatsoever. Um, the, the only issue I have, this is it. This is the crux of it. We'll get in, I'll, I'll vape with it in a second, but this is this is the main thing. Um, I, I'm not really a fan of the screws and not just the Allen keys. I, I, I'm, I mean, the Allen keys that I have with mine, I suspect I know for the fact the one that uh, I'm using for direct lung, uh, it was one sent out to reviewers, so I know it had the wrong Allen key in it. I was told that. There is a chance that the second one that I got from Toby at His Town Vapes may have the wrong Allen key as well. But the screws as well, the screws are, they don't make, the, the resistance jumps about a lot. Um, unless I really crank those screws down. And that for me is my, my biggest con from this device. Uh, now I have a proper torque set, Allen key set and all the rest of it. I can get the screws cranked down. As soon as I do, no problems. But you will have to go and buy a decent set of tools. That's the only thing I would say. And it's the main thing I don't like about this bridge is those Allen keys, the screw heads are just a bit on the, not the best. There's also a couple of bits that I'm, I'm not a huge fan of when I look at the, the deck. Um, it's just when you put that metal reducer in, um, the air hole is quite close. You've got the posts here and you've got your air hole here. You know, your air hole is actually quite close to the posts. Um, and, and, and I worry about bridging the posts. I know there's a groove cut out in it and, and it can't happen, it won't happen, but it's just, it's all really tight and close in there. It's something that bothers me. I did have a little bit of play in my peak insulator on the second one that I received. Uh, so yes, I, I'm, and this might sound like I'm coming across as a, as a bit of a dick uh, because there are so many good, opinions and so many people are enjoying this bridge but uh, for me it's just it just needs a little bit more refinement that that's kind of my take on it on the build quality on the build quality how it vapes well here we go so mouth to lung this is as tight as it gets i have no reducers on the borrow tank or anything like that all i'm doing is a one mil reducer underneath the coil And it's, it's, it's a loose mouth to lung. It's, it is one mil, but it's still, it feels looser than that to me. But the flavor is, it's not bad. No inserts and uh, I'm still using pistache in here. Uh, that's a nice restricted direct lung. It's it's not full on cloudy, but uh, yeah, there's a fair amount of air goes through there. Not quite as much as the Zeta with no restrictions, but uh, yeah, there's enough there to keep me happy. And uh, that's 27 watts on a 0.4 ohm coil. 
keeps up no problem. It wicks really well this. Uh, if you get your, your cotton spot on, which is dead easy to do, uh, this will give you... You'd be hard pushed not to enjoy this bridge. It, it does give good flavour and it does wick well. Uh, it's a, I find it to be a, a loose mouth to lung, even though it's a one mil reducer. Just remember that it's only the one mil air hole underneath the coil. You know, you've not got any reducers anywhere else. You're not reducing the inner bore anywhere else. But this is not bad at all. I just wish I was a, a little bit happier with the the build quality on it. It's the only thing that, it's the, it's the only con. It's the only con I have. I just don't, and I have two of them here. I have two of them here. Um, I just feel that, that it could be a little bit better. Now I will, by my own admission, I, I, I'm a little bit cranky. My back is really, really sore. I haven't had much sleep. Um, so maybe go and talk to some other people and see what they say. But once again, I cannot fault the vape from it. I, I really like the flavor and everything else. It's just, just the build quality. I'd like to thank the guys at Mission. I'd also like to thank Toby at Hayes Town Vapes for sending these on. Uh, and to you guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.